And some, uh, well, some exciting worship from the band Worship Effect. That is uh, new music from them called Jericho, just after half past 11. And uh, look, I don't know if you've been in this situation. It just, just seems more complicated to do things at the moment. You've got to fill in all these extra forms. Apparently, it's got to do with anti-money laundering uh, legislation. Now, you know, I'm not advocating for money laundering. I think that's a terribly bad thing. But somebody who knows a lot more about these regulations and why they are in place is Dan Mason Garb, CEO of Christian Savings. Dan, kia ora. Thank you for joining us today. Kia ora, good morning. I was going to say good afternoon, but we have moved we're, time slots. We're mic- we? mixing it up a little bit. And, and hey, I know in your house, you've got a newborn What's morning? What's afternoon? Honestly, it's, it it's a blur. Be, we could exactly. be doing this at two o'clock in the morning and it wouldn't make a difference. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But in terms of, of money laundering, uh, this is important legislation, right? It is. It is. And I think it's really important to remember because uh, no one, not even lawyers or, or bankers like me, enjoy paperwork, right? And, you know, you want to sell a house, you want yep. to open a bank, you know, a bank account or sort of do some sort of transfer of, of uh, a financial asset. You get all these forms you've got to fill out. You've got to provide identity. Um, and um, it can be a real pain for people. Can I just push um, back? But- I'm not sure that all lawyers don't like filling in forms. I think some of them get paid <laughs> per form. So I think there will be not not putting all lawyers in the same bucket, but I think some lawyers absolutely love forms. Yeah, I mean, I think it's some important lawyers. that you know, lawyers are created in, in, in the image of, of God, right? Yeah. He, he, created this, you know. <laughs> he, he did the Ten Commandments, and it's in a similar sort of vein. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, yeah, I mean, the, right. these forms are important. Uh, honestly, from a consumer's point of view, it just seems more complicated to do things that we took for granted beforehand, uh, particularly if it's with people that we've had a long-standing business relationship with. Uh, it, it's like the, um, the, the legal anti-money laundering form of that thing, no, I'm not a robot. I identify the four traffic lights in this picture. Can we move on now? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, the, the reality is $1.35 billion uh, is is laundered through the New Zealand system every wow. year, right? So um, this is proceeds of crime or people um, generating um, wealth through illegal illegal activities, and then sort of churning it through the financial system so that when they can go, you know, that they they pull that wealth into you know to buy a house for themselves or a car or or to fund something that's illegal. Mm-hmm. Um, so we've got this big sort of underbelly of of the crime world that you know many people like us don't you know interface with on a daily basis, right? Yep. So we get these forms and we and we say, well, why do I have to identify myself? Um, you know, I've known the ANZ Bank or Christian Savings for for twenty years. They know who I am. Um, for financial institutions like Christian Savings, however, we are under an obligation, legal obligation, to make sure that the money we receive and pay out is is clean per yeah. se. It's not coming from, you know, Andrews um, under the house, men, men, you know, um, drug sort of growing oh, yeah. operation. Yeah. Uh, and that um, we're not aiding the that sort of the, the, the laundering of money. In the can, I, can I just say officially and on the record that is a fictitious example? Uh, and we're, we're talking about you're talking about a different Andrew altogether. But hey, move, moving on from that one, do you think that the legislation is making a difference? Because sometimes with the legislation, yes, it impacts the the average um, individual, but it doesn't actually do anything to stop the money laundering that it was designed to do. Do you think that the the systems are robust enough? Is it making a difference when it comes to the proceeds of crime in New Zealand? Yeah, look, it's a really good question, um, and. I wouldn't be able to give you a definitive answer on that, but I will say two things. Firstly, they have peered back some of the the, um, the regulations. So, in a, in a recent amendment to the legislation, yeah. where uh, you know institutions will be asking for less information now, and will make it easier. So that's a positive, right? So yeah. they trial the system, they've realised it's a, maybe ratcheted it up too high, and they're going to try and pull it back. But I was having a conversation with a, a wealth advisor the other day who was working with someone who said he was working for someone overseas. Mm -hmm. Um, The advisor asked for the identification. He declined and and the advisor never heard back. So he reported that to to the authorities and uh, they said, thank you very much. We've been looking for this person for two years. Wow. And he's, we know that he has been laundering money, um, you know, following, following some illegal activity. So they were able to catch the guy. Yeah. And so, you know, 
it, it is hard because you know the most most of us people who aren't involved in that have to suffer through the paperwork. <laughs> but on the other side, they are catching people through um, through the regulations. But whether or not the cost benefit, or you could do it another way, yeah. you know, I'll leave that to it. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, honestly, I, I I love the way that you put us in this regard. Okay, yes, it's an inconvenience to us. But actually, it's making the world a safer place, and it is uh, it is fighting crime, and uh, well, uh, cutting out the financial security for some pretty nasty people in the world. So actually, in some ways, if we're filling in anti money laundering uh, forms, we're superheroes, we're crime fighters. Dan, that's another way of spinning it, isn't it? That's right. I think you should work for the, you know, the Ministry of Justice's you know marketing marketing team for that. But but it is true. You know, if we all participate in that, then we can create a, a safer um, economy and an economy that that doesn't benefit um, you know illegal activities or the financing of terrorism as well. So um, you know, it, it but it's really helpful to to remember. You know, institutions are not doing this because they love paperwork. Yeah. They're doing this because you know we have to. Yeah. Um, but it's also part of creating a safer place for everyone. And I imagine it, it also creates some type of a safety for yourself and for other people involved in the financial sector. Uh, beforehand, it's like, look, you take people at face value and you're engaging with them in, in good faith. However, yep. I mean, the situation you're talking about beforehand, unless you do the checks, unless you do the due, due diligence and fill in the right forms, mm-hmm. you don't know whether or not they're trying to money launder through Christian savings, which would be an absolute disaster uh, from a legal and from a PR point of view for you guys. It's safety to make sure that money put aside for the kingdom of God is used in an appropriate way. It's just, it comes back to good stewardship, yeah. and that's what we're all about. And, and, and it's not just laundering of money. You know, if if we are asking people to identify themselves, we're actually stewarding their money well, because what if someone was impersonating them yeah. and trying to sort of defraud someone else? So, so it's also, you know, looking out for our customers, which is is really important for us as we manage, you know, a significant um, part of their wealth. It's all a part of the way in which we do modern life now. And hey, thank you for explaining it so clearly. If people wanted to find out more about the work that you guys do at Christian Savings, Dan, what's the best way of doing that? Uh, ChristianSavings.co.nz. Uh, you can download our application forms. Take joy in going for the anti money laundering <laughs> um, process and providing your identification. <laughs> It's all part of a you know bigger picture and uh, you know bigger bigger We're picture for the kingdom as well. Crime fighting superheroes for the kingdom of God together. Dan, right. uh, thank you so much for your time today. Thanks.